We just watched the music video for Roy G. Biv. And we're going to work on a drawing today of the little gnome or elf that was in the video. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be writing his name at the top of the paper. And that's gonna help us remember the order of the colors in the rainbow. We're gonna make bubble letters today and I'm gonna teach you a little trick. Start by lightly writing the letters R for red, O for orange, Y for yellow, G for green, B for blue, I for indigo, and V for violet. Now we're gonna go back and turn those into bubble letters. So we're gonna draw a curvy bubble around each of these letters. And then I'm gonna go back and erase the line that I originally drew, the letter that I originally drew. You might have to add just a little, couple little spaces inside some of your letters, like that little space inside the R. letters. We're going to take our pencil and we're going to start to draw Roy G. Biv's face. So we're going to go down from the letter G over here and we're going to draw a line that's like an upside down rainbow. Kind of like that. And we're going to make his hat. So we're going to draw a line that goes across. And then it's going to go up to a point. You know, over towards this way. Toward the right hand side. Or, you can make that come out a little bit. You could even make it go behind the letters a little bit if, it's, if you don't have enough space. And remember, he had a rainbow on his hat. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. And then we're gonna work on his eyes. So for his eyelid, we just draw a little upside down line, kind of like, uh, like a rainbow, rather. And then we're going to draw two circles. And you can give them little pupils. He has little rectangles for eyebrows. And a little nose. And a little curvy line for a mouth. And don't forget his mustache. Kind of like a little teardrop on its side or a raindrop. And then he had his beard. So we're gonna draw a line down this way and a line down this way from the hat. And then we're gonna add some little zigzag lines. Like that. His arms are gonna be up. So we're drawing two lines up. And then another line, and another line, and we're going to connect them for his sleeves. 
And then you can add his hands. And two straight lines down for his body. And a line like a rainbow. And we're gonna connect the lines at the bottom to create pants. Uh, I'm gonna make this one a little thicker. There we go. <clears throat> and then we're gonna add a little bare feet. And we're gonna add a prism over here. That's what he was holding in the video, and that bit of glass kind of split the light into a rainbow, split the colors. So I'm just drawing little lines on angles. There you go, and then I'm gonna add a stick to it that he can hold. And then somewhere in your picture, you're gonna add a rainbow. And you can do a rainbow behind him. You could do a rainbow up here. I think I'm gonna try to draw a rainbow that kind of curves behind him. I'm gonna pretend like that line's there and then it comes out this side. When we color it in, we're gonna be coloring it in the order of the rainbow. So we have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, Violet. I think I need to bring this line down a little bit more. Whoops. All right. And then we're going to take our marker and you can go ahead and trace your the letters in his name with the color that matches the letter. So Roy G. Biv, the R stands for red. So I'm gonna trace it with red and I'm gonna color it in with red. Something that I like to do sometimes is when I'm working on a drawing, I'll figure out which parts of my picture need to be red and then I'll go through and color all of them red. So I know this first stripe, oops, is gonna be red. So I'm gonna go ahead and trace that one. Um, I also know the top stripe on his hat is a thin red stripe. Okay. And then I'm gonna go back and I'll work on coloring it in really neatly and filling in those white spaces. Oops. So go ahead and work on coloring in your, your Roy G. Biv that you drew. And I'm gonna go ahead and work on mine and then I will come back in the video when it's all done and um, show you what it looks like when it's been completed. But go ahead and work on yours. Hi again, artists. When you're all done, you will have Roy G. Biv colored in from the name at the top and the color order of the rainbow to his clothing and a rainbow somewhere in your project. After you do this, you're gonna take a picture of it and you're gonna put it on your Google Classroom page on the slide and um, try to see if you can ask 
at least one family member if they know what the colors are for the rainbow in the order of the rainbow. Ask them if they know what Roy G. Biv stands for. See you next time.